So I'm making this video today because like I'm super broke and I don't just um I don't just bitch about my feelings or how I'm feeling like but I'm super broke and um three of my tires on my mower needed replaced but then I watched a video on the YouTubes about how to foam your tires so I decided to give it a try like um <laughs> this was the last time I mowed. Let's say hello to my chickens, my rooster. But you see the lines. It's because one of my rear tires was low. Um, I haven't cut this side because I just, to be honest, depression. Um, depression. Um, I can only turn. I can only turn right because the pinion gear is bad in my mower, and I got it to fix it. And I was just looking at it. And, um, with my tires off, I don't think I can do it right now. And, um, looking at it, it looks like I might need to take the little, take the, the control arms or the turning arms off. Because this is where the pinion gear is. Well, part of the pinion gear. And then, yeah, this is what connects to your wheel to turn and stuff. So, but right now we're going to focus on these. I already did one. Um, the video I seen said one can per tire. And since these are small, that's what I'm doing is one can. I've already done this one. I haven't done that one. And um, I haven't, haven't done this one. I'm doing two cans for this one. And I guess if I need to go get more, I will. Um, but yeah. So in his video, he took them off. Like he tried different ways so you could see like what works, what doesn't. Um, like he he had a video where he did it through the valve stem, and then he had another one where he um, drilled the holes in it. I didn't drill nearly as many as he did. I did about five or six. But on the bigger one, I'll probably do more spots. Not sure I'm using a big enough drill bit, but I'm currently using 3 sixteenths. Um, I might need to do 7 30 seconds. Um, so normally, like, I like doing stuff on my own anyway, because like I said, I'm, I'm fucking broke. I'm poor. Like, huh. <laughs> I'm $200 away from getting my truck back from the mechanics. <laughs> so, and then the fucking, the car needs wheel bearings put on it. Fucking chicken shit. And then I have uh, that lovely pain in my ass that needs fixed too. It needs a new frame put on it, and I have the new frame, as you see. I just, um, I don't have the mental manpower to do so. But, um, this is Blossom, and that's Nugget. They are my, um, pains in the asses. Okay, so... In case you're not used to power tools, um, especially, like, drills, when you... Do you drill a hole, always go back and forth. It kind of helps. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, back when I was in a Votec, they probably explained it better, but it, yeah. Just go back and forth, trust me. That's what you hear. One of my hens. Um, so we have three right now. I'll do another one like right here. And then another one about here. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the stuff that I got. This is what he used in his video. It does have this nice little tip that kind of narrows at the end. Um, you can hear it going, well, I can hear it going in. I don't know if you could. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in one spot, particularly. I just kind of. So as it's going in, he never said anything in his videos, but I can feel the air from inside the tire coming out as this foam is going in. Um. So one reason why the holes are helpful is because I guess this foam needs air to really expand good. So. Um. There's my hen again. Her name is Rebel. Because the very first day I put her outside in my hen house, or my catch-all animal building, I don't know what to call it, she decided at 2 o'clock in the morning to run around in my front yard. And uh, a little known fact that I didn't know that my recent ex told me is chickens can't see in the dark. So, yeah. I didn't know that. I know that now, but I guess my ex kind of came in handy. Actually, I think I might put another hole in here in a minute. I'm going to let these set up overnight and stuff. And then, I'm no professional at this, but I will definitely try to figure out how to put the end results in with this. Well, I guess, um, huh, hopefully what I put in there works because the this can's out. So, yeah, like I said, there's one of my pains in my asses. Here's these two. They're like toddlers. They don't care what I'm doing. They just want to be in here tormenting me. <clears throat> okay. So there's, you know what? He didn't do this, but I'm, what's it going to hurt? Just kind of. I guess move it around in there a little bit. Okay. So if you've never taken lawnmower tires off, once you get your cap off, uh, well, your ceiling cap, which you need to make sure you don't rip it because it's rubber. Um, Sorry, <laughs> you will have um, rings, like slip rings that you will have to take off. Um, I got mine off with a chisel. Just put the opening up towards the top and then take the chisel and kind of pry underneath of it and it'll pop it down. That's what I did. Out of there. 
Like I said, they're like toddlers. Okay. So I did put more holes in this one because it's bigger. Um, as you see, when I did put the hole in it, this was popped in and then it popped back out. So like I said, for this bigger tire, I'm doing two cans. Sorry, I just didn't get these ones ready. <clears throat> Hopefully, I ordered enough. Like I said, he said that one can per tire. I was going to order six cans because, you know, it's never a bad idea to have extra in case you need it. But six cans was going to be like $70 or something like that. And like I said, I'm, I'm broke. Uh, and I'm kind of a cheap ass, which is unusual for a woman. But, you know. And then we have this jackass here eating a box. No, it's not going to kill him. Promise you. He's eaten my junk mail before and he's very much still alive, as you see. So... You know, I'll tell you right now, I never read the instructions on this. And I kind of never really do read the instructions because, to be honest, this stuff seems like it's pretty idiot-proof. But I don't know. I am kind of an idiot so so okay i have one two three so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use one can and basically these three holes and by this hole here um i'll run this can out that i'm using and start a new one in that one it's just an idea i don't know Oh, sorry. I'm no professional at this, like, at all. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I might go back over here real quick. I guarantee that I've overfilled that. But, um, I know this stuff will expand pretty good, but still... And like I said, I'm going to definitely... Let's sit overnight. I think it is, it is 2.07. So about 2 o'clock tomorrow. Or, well, I'm supposed to have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I want it to be over the phone. But we'll see. As you see, this tire here is definitely dry rotted. Like, see right here? <laughs> What, what are you carrying on about over there? Huh? Everybody else is outside. You know where you're supposed to be and where you belong. See, my problem, I guess, um, well, not my problem. Well, I created my own problem because when I got that hen over there and her coop mates, they came from down the road at my cousin's house. And, um, we didn't really want them just running back down there because she, uh, she was tired of putting all of her time and energy into them and stuff killing them. So I locked them here in the garage for about a week. And then Jackass here, when I first got him, he was actually a runt. Him at six months old was about the equivalency of a two month old or something like that. He was very small. So at first I kept him in my house with me 
And then as he got a little bit bigger, I kept him here in the garage. Yeah, that was um, that was my stupidity. And now I have, even though I've already replaced one man door, I have to replace another. Because if I'm in here and he can't get in, let me show you what he's done. So the door that was on here before was wood. And um, that is metal. It's not solid metal. It's not like a fire rated door. But that is metal. And as you see, he has uh, head butted it a lot. And it's because, like, when I'm out here working on stuff, I'd like to not have to worry about what he's getting into, what he's doing. But if he's not in here, he tries to tear my garage down. So. <coughs> okay. I'm on my second can. And as I said with one of them smaller ones, I could feel the, uh, I could definitely feel the air coming out of these holes as this stuff is being pumped in. So, um, in his video that I did watch, when he did put too much in it, um, it will overflow the top. Which, necessarily, I don't think that's a bad thing. At least, that tells me that you basically filled all the crevices that you could fill. So, I don't necessarily want them overflowing. Like, that one's already kind of started to... It, I mean, it's going to do a little bit like that. And that's okay, but his, some of his were, like, way overflowed. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Yes, Rebel. Like I said, everybody else is outside where they belong. Heck, if this works good, I might do the same with them freaking tires. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Because if I get the frame on it for a while, it'll probably just be a play toy. Um, yeah, I think I'm already out. Well, maybe not. I'm probably getting there, though, since it's... Okay, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it's basically empty. So, that's nice. Like I said, I didn't, he didn't really do it in his, but I'll just, um. Uh, I think that's one reason why he took his off, is so. When it expands, um, gravity just kind of does the work and it will fill itself. Um, I'm no expert, to be honest. Like, I might have graduated high school. I used to be pretty smart. And then, like, once I got to my senior year, I was like, yeah, no. I went out of this place. Senioritis kicked in really bad. Like, I went from B's, a B average student, to <laughs> I dropped to, like, the very lowest in my class but I mean you know people think you need a college degree to make it in this world to be honest you just need 
I guess you could say some blue collar um, knowledge to an extent because <laughs> I, I could take some, like, I could take my mower here to somebody to fix it. It's like, guy I'm talking to is offered to do the pinion and stuff, and I'm just like, well, that's nice of you, but I'd kind of like to just do it myself. But at the same time, like, I just... Like I said, depression, it's a bitch. Like, but anyway, um, tomorrow I'll bring it back and I'll show you the results. Okay, so it's the, sorry, my hair's a mess. It's the next day and I am coming out here to check on these tires. This is the first time I've seen them since I filled them with foam yesterday. So, moment of truth. Well, okay. First impression's not good. Um, not good at all. Yeah, that's, that's not good. Huh. <laughs> So this, it did set up. It's, maybe I just didn't use enough. Uh, that's, that's not good. I don't know what I did wrong. I did everything in that guy's video. Um, when in doubt. Uh, let's see what it says here. Uh, instructions. Well, it says it cures in eight hours. It does say the cold can affect um, it's setting up. Um, I don't really think it got too cold last night. So, I guess. <sighs> Sorry, my hair's just so crazy. I guess, um, probably gonna have to get more cans. Maybe, maybe it just needs more time. I don't know. It's almost been 24 hours. So, <sighs> I guess that's one reason. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, it kind of sucks because now I've already fucked up these tires. And I, I did this because I'm cheap and I really couldn't afford to replace the tires. Thought this would be a better option. Um, yeah, but, yep, yeah. I mean, they are, shouldn't have any give like that. I don't know what I did wrong. I shook them beforehand well maybe it's just this one section maybe it but this one here is like i guess maybe 
where the tire itself is so big. I just didn't put them in enough areas. Um, well, let's give this one a try. See what. Oh, see, this one's doing the same too. So, I guess maybe I'll get four more cans and I'll try it again. <laughs> At least I tried it so you guys didn't have to.